Okay, here are my solutions for the homework problems, numbers 40, 33, 51, 52 from chapter 4 of the uh, college physics book. In problem 33, you are asked to um, find the coefficient of static friction between the 3 kilogram crate and the 35 degree incline of the figure, which I will reproduce in a second, is 0 0.30. What minimum force F must be applied to the crate perpendicular to the incline to prevent the crate from sliding down? Okay, so we have this um, we have this inclined plane that is inclined at 35 degrees. We have a crate on here, which is a three kilogram crate, and we are applying a force directly down on top of it, perpendicular to the surface of the plane, and we want to make sure that this doesn't move. So in the absence of that um, downward force, uh, it implies that the, the, the box would move on its own. We were told that the coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.300. This must be the static coefficient of friction if this is a situation where the object is not moving. So I will draw the free body diagram for this system. And I am going to do the free body diagram in our tilted x prime y prime coordinate system that we've talked about before this will allow me to talk about forces perpendicular and along the plane so we know that gravity the component of gravity down the plane is mg sine theta uh, the normal force is going to point this direction which usually counteracts the force mg cosine theta, which is the component of gravity perpendicular to the plane. We also have the downward force F, which is applying in that same direction. And we would have friction uh, pulling up the plane because the block would normally want to slide down the plane. There's my free body diagram. I can now do some of the forces in the x direction and some of the forces in the y direction. These are the x prime, y prime directions, really. So some of the forces in the x direction, I'm gonna call down the plane positive. So I have mg sine theta minus the friction force has to equal zero. And it's zero because ma, um, normally it would be ma, but a is equal to zero because it's static, not moving. I'll do the same thing in the y direction, I have N minus F minus Mg cosine theta equals zero. From this, I need to find, I, I don't want N. I want to eliminate N from my problem because I am interested in the force F, not in N. So let's look at this first equation again. This first one can be rewritten as Mg sine theta minus mu n that's the definition of the friction force equals zero now i have these two equations i'll solve this one second one for n n is equal to um m g sine theta divided by mu i got that by taking the mu n over to the other side of the equation and dividing through by mu i can get the second equation for n n is equal to F plus mg cosine theta. That comes from this equation. Now I can set these two equal to each other because they're both equal to n. So I can say F plus mg cosine theta has to equal mg sine theta over mu. Solving for F, F equals mg sine theta divided by mu minus mg cosine theta. I should now have all of that information. I have m, the mass of the, I have the mass of the graph of the plane. I know the value of g. I know theta. I know mu. And so this is a, this is now just a number. So I can solve for that. F equals three kilograms times 9.8 times sine of 35 degrees, all divided by 0 0.300 minus three kilograms 
times 9.8 meters per second squared times cosine, just getting cosine, not sine, cosine of 35 degrees. I can now solve for that. So this is 32.1 newtons. Anything less than that, and the block will still slide down the plane because the force of gravity down the plane would be greater than the frictional force up the plane at that point. 